When you be on it, you're not, you're not losing. You're not losing, you're gaining. Because you see, you want to get reward here, and you're going to get reward in heaven. See, I want my reward to be double. Double, double, O. Amen. Double, double, O. I want double. Amen.
it's now time for the word. Sit back, relax, and let's hear what God has to say. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that he may be able to stand against the wall of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the rule of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. God is good. Once we stay in Christ, we have the victory. The enemy can't touch us because we have our, we have our daddy with us, our big brother with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing. Good morning, church. Are you glad to be here today? Yes. Are you thankful to be in the land of the living? Yes. Do you know that God is good all the time? Yes. And all the time God is good? Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Look to your neighbor and say, God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. He woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. He put food on my table. He put shoes on my feet. And he clothed me with the right mind. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I was shocking up with my girlfriend, conviction came to me. Hallelujah. I went to a revival meeting. I got saved. And I went back home to my mother. I didn't go on by a house. Because if I had to go back by a house, I would fall back and sit. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Some people didn't have a chance to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. But we had a chance. Hallelujah. And that's a blessing. So I can truly say God is good. I like to say that. Uh, I, I know I get a lot of witness to that. Uh, hallelujah. God is good. I just want you all to be encouraged today. I want you to be encouraged. Because God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And that's an encouraging word. Let us focus on glory. Let us focus on glory. And not on what's happening in the world today. Because if you focus on what's happening in the world today, it will encourage you. It will distract you. Let us focus on glory. That's the way God wants us to be. Can I get a witness? Amen. Hallelujah. Now, can anybody guess what my topic is today? What'd you say? Die for you. You know what my topic is. <laughs> uh, okay. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I pray for your protection upon your people today. Guide them and protect them. I pray that you, you open up their understanding to your word and receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Giving my respect to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Which is the head of my life. How, you, how many of you believe that God is the head of our life? Amen. It gives me great pleasure to be here today to minister the word of God to you and to teach you about love. How many of you know that we need teaching on love? Amen. When you go through your tribulation, God is good. When you go through your trials, God is good. When you go through your tribulation, God is good. He is good all the time. Hallelujah. Um, turn with me in your Bible to Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. And it said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. I like to say that because he's good to me and he's good to you. He's good to all of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, okay, my topic today is love. And love is very important. See, the devil don't want us to teach about love. 
Love is so powerful. And we need love because God is love. Amen. And if we are the children of God, we must walk in love. Amen. The God kind of love. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mal Malachi 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, my son of Jacob are not consumed. God never changed. How many of you know that? We change, but God never changed. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. God is still loving. God is still kind. God is still faith faithful. Hallelujah. That's the way we're supposed to be. Our love is never supposed to change. Our love is always supposed to be the same for each other. See, God don't want to operate like the world. They love you today, hate you tomorrow. Once everything is okay, I love you. I love you. Yeah. When things go bad, they don't love you no more. Right, right. You see? Some people only love those who love them. That's right. yeah. Like the publican. They only love those who love them. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know God don't like that. No. Hallelujah. The Bible said, For God so loved the world that he gave us the only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God love for you and for me is unconditional. Yeah. He love you in spite of. Yeah. No matter what you do, God still love you. Amen. But human is not like that. No. You do them wrong, they don't love you. No. Hallelujah. But God always love you. That's why he say, come as you are. That's the kind of God we serve. Yeah. Hallelujah. Romans 12 and 10 says, be kindly affectionate one towards another yes, with brotherly love. Hallelujah. So we have to have love for each other. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Romans 13 and 10 says, Love waketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Yes, Hallelujah. Hebrews 13 and 1 says, Let brotherly love continue. Yes. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angel unaware. First Peter 2 and 17 says, Honor all men, yeah. love the brethren, yeah. fear God, and honor the king. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First John 4 and 11 says, Beloved, if God so love us, we ought also to love one another. Amen. So if, you, if you're not loving any, one another, then you have no excuse. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us. Amen. And his love is perfect in us. Amen? Amen? Now, one evening I pick up six people from the Cove, um, the Cove Hotel, and they wanted to go to dinner. So I took them by the poop deck. And the lady asked me how much I charge. I tell her I charge, charge them $30, $5 each. So the lady took out some money and put in my hand. She said, here is $40, and you keep the change. So after that, I, dro I drove off. And I didn't check the money right away. When I drove off, and when I checked the money, it was $100. She's supposed to give me $40. She gave me $100. And you know, I'm a man of God. I can't teach people money. I wouldn't sleep good. I wouldn't be comfortable. You see? It's good to be honest. It's good to have an honest heart. God love you when you be like that. So what I did, I went back to them. And I said, Miss, you know you gave me $100 for $40? She said, what? She didn't even realize that. So I said, here's your change. I gave her $60 change. And the woman, they kind of stopped from thanking me. That's love. Yeah. Yeah. Honesty is part of love. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You cannot have love without honesty. No. You got to be honest with people. Yes. You see? And then I picked them back up, dropped them back to the hotel. They gave me $45. So I made $80, $85 from them. Yeah. Hallelujah. So when you be honest, you're not, you're not losing. You're not losing. You're gaining. Because you see, you want to get reward here? And you're going to get reward in heaven. See, I want my reward to be double. Double, double O. Amen. 
double, double, oh. I want double. Yeah. Amen. Double. I don't want a reward that's here. No. I want a reward up there too. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is good. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, when people come to visit this church, greet them with a smile. Because people are searching for love. And if they don't see love in this church, they're not coming there. They're not coming back. So we have to be very careful when people come in this church. Ask them how they're doing. How they're feeling. How is your family? They're going to come back again. Like if you have a dog, right? And you feed your dog. Your, the, the dog is going to come back to you again. Even the stray dogs, he's going to come back to you. You see? Because the dogs see love. He's not coming back only for the food. He's coming back because you care for him. So we have to care for people when they come in this doors so that they can come back. We want people to come back. We don't want people to visit us and that's it. We want them to come back, come back, come back. That's how the church grow. That's how the church grow. Yes, that's how the church grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Mark 11 and 23 says, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall love whatsoever he say. What things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. And the 25th verse says, When you stand up to pray, forgive. Forgiveness and love goes hand to hand yeah. with each other. So we must forgive. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Yeah. And all the time. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm still growing in this love walk. I'm still growing. Hallelujah. So when I teach you all, I teach in myself too. Huh? I teach in myself too. Hallelujah. Let's go to um, Ephesians 5 and 1. And it said, Be therefore followers of God as their children, and walk in love, as Christ also had loved us, and had given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for sweet smell and savor. We must imitate God and do what he did do. We must imitate God and do what he did. God loved people. They are very important to him. You see, that's why he died for them. To be, a follower, to be a follower of Jesus Christ, you need to walk in love. Because love is God's character. Yes, sir. All right? We have to make love our character. Yeah. Galatians 5 and 22 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. Thou shalt keep thee in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Love, joy, peace. Long-suffering. The Bible said, after you suffer a while, he will perfect you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He will settle you. Yeah. He, he will strengthen you. Yeah. He will settle you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Long suffering is very important. Yeah. Very important in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Long suffering. Hallelujah. Gentleness. Goodness. Faith. Faith worketh by love. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Faith. Meekness. Meekness is uh, power under control. Yeah. Yeah. And temperance. We need all of these gifts. We need all these fruits. That's the love. That's, that's the fruits of love. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. And you can't love without those fruits. No. We need no. them in our life. John 3 and 1 says, Behold, what man of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we should be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is with our glorified body. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. His body can be glorified. Our body going to be glorified with the beauty. Hallelujah. With the beauty. Hallelujah. We're going to be beautiful on that particular day. And every man that had this hope in him purify himself, even as he's pure. Hallelujah. God has bestowed his love upon us. He has given us his love that we shall be called the sons of God. How many of you know that you are the sons of God? In the New Testament, in the Old Testament, the angel of the Lord was called the sons of God. I can prove that to you right now. Genesis 6 and 2. And it said, And the sons of God saw the daughter of men, that they were fair, and they took themselves wife of all which they choose. Yeah. So they were called the sons of God, and we are called the sons of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look to your neighbor and say, we are the sons of God. Hallelujah. John 14 and 21 says, He that had my commandment and keepeth them, he it is that love me. And to him that love me shall be love of my father. And I will love him and shall manifest myself unto him. When you keep God's commandment, he will show himself unto you. That's his word. Keep his commandment. And what commandment he's talking about? The commandment of love. The commandment of love. When you keep the commandment of love, God will show himself to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, how many of you know that God loved everybody? God wants everybody to be saved. No matter what language you speak, Jamaican, Haitian, whatever. God wants all men to be saved. That's the kind of love he has. Hallelujah. Romans 5 and 8 says, But God commanded his love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. While I was in sin, doing my own thing, in the disco dancing, Christ died for me. While you were in sin, doing your own thing, Christ died for you. Hallelujah. That's how much he loves us. <laughs> Hallelujah. <coughs> While you were drinking and smoking, he died for you. Died for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's love. That's love. When I, was, when I was being cool, acting like a fool, Christ died for me. You know, you're being cool, but you're acting like a fool. Christ died for you. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's how good God loves us. Second Corinthians 5 and 7 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. How many of you are a new creature? Let me see your hand. All things are passed away. Those things, what they did in the past, they are passed away. All things have become new. I can't, I can't drink liquor no more. No. I can't smoke dope no more. No. Uh, I can't do those things. No. When the guests ask me if I, if I drink, I say, no. I can't do those things. No. You see? See, God sees everything you do. Yes. You may think you're getting away, but God sees everything you do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For God sent not a son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him may be saved. That's love. He don't want you to be condemned. He don't want nobody to be condemned. Nobody on this earth, God want, want them to be condemned. But he want every man to be saved. He want every man to receive salvation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How do men know that you are his disciple by loving one another? If you say you are a child of God, and you don't love one another, you're fooling yourself. Yeah, Lord. You're not God's disciple. No. You're not belongs to God. No. You, you belong to the other fellow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we must love. Amen. You must love. And God don't want us to operate in human love. 
Like I said, human love would love you today and hate you tomorrow. But God love is constant, always loving, in spite of. In spite of what you do, always loving. That's God love. Never hates, always loving. Hallelujah. That's agape love. You do me wrong, I love you. You thief my money, I still love you. That's the kind of love God wants us to have. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So be growing. Yeah. Everybody, everybody's not on the same level when it comes to love. No. So we are growing. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Once you try, God honor that. Yeah. Once you try to improve yourself and love, yes. Yes. God yes. honor that. Yes. But if you're not trying, it's not honor that. Yes. Try until you get perfect, perfected, matured in love. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew 5 and 46 says, For if you love them which love you, which reward are we? Even the publican. Hallelujah. Let's look at Mark 12, 30 and 31. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, like namely this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Hallelujah. There is none other commandment greater than these. You all hear that? Yeah. These are the great. This is love is very great. Hallelujah. You cannot love God if you don't love your neighbor. Right. That's not the God kind of love. No, sir. Hallelujah. First of all, uh, love God, love yourself, and love people. Yeah. Love God. Love yourself and love people. You got to love people. Hallelujah. People are very important to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's look at uh, Matthew 5, 43 and 44. You have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despisely use you and persecute you, that you may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. For he make it the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and send it rain on the just and on the unjust. Hallelujah. How many, how many of you could love your enemy? Who do you wrong? Let me see your hands. Who hate you? And who take you to court? How many of you love your neighbors who hurt you and take you to court? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's when your love is tested. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your love on trial now. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's a gappy love. Woo. But not human love. Human love cannot love your enemy. Can you imagine? Someone hates you. Can you imagine? Someone hates you and you still have to love them? They talk bad about you, and you still have to love them. Yes, sir. That's where long suffering comes in. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, Which is part of the fruit of the Spirit. We need long suffering. People call you all kinds of names, and you still have to love them. When your body don't want to love, then you have to let your spirit man love. Yes, sir. When your body don't want to love, you let your spirit man love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we are, you know, we are in the, if we don't love, we are in the flesh. God don't want us to be in the flesh. God doesn't want, want us to be in the spirit. The flesh don't want to love. How many of you know that? But our spirit mind wants to love. There's a war going on in our body. The spirit mind wants to love, but the flesh don't want to love. So we have to let the spirit man override the flesh. You know what I mean? We got to do that. Romans 5 and 5 says, The love of God is shared abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The love of God is poured out in our heart by the Holy Ghost. Because love is, because love is in our heart, which is our spirit man, not the organ that pump blood, in our spirit man, 
You have to go into your spirit man to love your enemies. You have to go into your spirit man to love your enemies and to love those that hate you. You know someone do you wrong, and the Bible tell you to pray for them? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Lord. The flesh ain't going to like that. No. That's a persecution going on in your body. Persecution going on in your body. Someone do you wrong, and you still have to love them? The Bible say pray for them. But... But you're not moved. You're not moved by your flesh. You're moved by your spirit. You're moved by your spirit. While you stand praying for your enemies, when you stand praying for your enemies, the flesh can be hurting. Huh? Your flesh can be, can, can be telling you, say, boy, he, did, he do you this, he do you that. But you're praying for them. You're praying good. You know, Lord, let them prosper. Lord, bless them. Lord, bless their family. Yeah. But while you're doing that, your flesh hurting. Because yeah. you know the wrong they did you. It's a war going on in your body. The spirit against the flesh. It's a war going on in your body. But you let the spirit mind be in control. The spirit mind be in control. God say, pray for your enemies. Pray for them. Pray for your enemies. Don't mind what the flesh is doing. If you mind the flesh, you'll, you'll not pray for them. And even if you pray for them, you're going to pray bad things about them. Lord, don't let them, press, don't, don't let them prosper. Don't let them prosper, Lord. That's what you say if you go by the flesh. Somebody say, Lord, take them out. Take them out, Lord. God don't want us to be like that. Now, your job is to crucify the flesh. Yeah, Lord. Our flesh is supposed to be dead. Yeah. You see? When the flesh tells you that, say, pray bad for them, you tell the flesh that you're dead. You have no voice. Yeah. Yeah. You listen to the spirit, not the flesh. Yeah. The flesh is supposed to be dead. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The flesh is supposed to be dead. The spirit is life. Hallelujah. The spirit is life. So you see why... You see why the word needs to be alive in us? Because there's a war going on in our body. It's a war going on. That's agape love. Not talking about fleshy love. God wants us to have his love. God wants us to walk in his love. Every born again believer has love of Christ in them. Yeah. Every born again believer has the life of Christ in them. Amen. Because God has placed his love in you. Yes, God has placed his love in you. So when God asks you to love your enemies, he know you could do it. Because yeah. he put his love in you. Yeah. The Bible said the love of God is shared abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So if God didn't put his love in you, he wouldn't ask you to love your enemies. Right. You see? Yeah. God is a fair God. Yeah. Yes. Yes, he, he asked for what he put in you. Yeah. God asked for what he put in you. Oh, yeah. But the flesh is going to tell you, you can't love your enemy. They steal your money. They take you to court. They do this to you. They hit my children. That's what the flesh can tell you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He put love on us. That's why he asked us to love our enemy. You see? Love on your enemy is a big thing to the flesh. It's a very big thing to the flesh. You see? It may look, it may look hard when you're in the flesh, but it's small things. If you obey God and walk in his spirit, it's a small thing. But if that love stays in your heart and it's not active, then you will, you will not love your enemies. Your love must be active. Hallelujah. Your love must be active. We need to be moved by the word of God, not our flesh. Be moved by the word. 
When you obey the word of God, it will cause your love to be active till it reaches a point in your life where you cannot stop from loving people. Oh God, yeah, that's maturity. That's maturity. Let your love be active. Hallelujah. That's how God wants us to be. Now, like I say, God, ex God expects love from you because he put it in you. Yeah. What God put in you, he expects that from you. He's a fair God. He's a fair God. Hallelujah. We as Christians have no excuse when it comes to love. We have no excuse at all. No excuse. As a Christian, you should not say, I don't have love. You have it. You just need teaching to learn how to walk in it. Hallelujah. Many people, they don't teach about love these days. How many of you know that? They don't teach about love. They pre preach about prosperity, about faith, other things, but not love. See, the enemy don't want you to learn about love. He want to keep you in bondage. You see? Love is so powerful. Love is so strong. How many of you know that? Yeah. Love is so powerful. Love is so strong. When you walk in love, you are a strong Christian. Yes, sir. Strong Christian walk in love. Yes, sir. How many of you know that? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Some of you may say, nobody could teach me how to walk in love. God don't want us to be like that. When you start thinking like that, you are operating in the flesh. Right. Hallelujah. Nobody could teach me how to love. As long as you live on this earth, you need teaching on how to walk in love. Yes, sir. Some people die hearing the teaching on love. We need to hear it over and over and over and over again. Hallelujah. Because it is very important to God. Yes, sir. There is no limitation on learning how to walk in love. How many of you know that? Jude 1 and 21 said, keep yourself in the love of God. You see? So if we could keep ourselves in the love of God, that means we could get out of the love of God. That's why the Bible tells us to keep ourselves in the love of God. You see? Because if you don't keep yourself, you're going to come out. Keep yourself in the love of God. Hallelujah. God is so good. John 4, 18 and 21 said, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts it out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Hallelujah. God wants us to be perfect in love. Love make you bold. How, much you how many of you believe that? Love make you bold. Love make you strong. When the Bible said, be perfect, for I am perfect, he's talking about being perfect in love. Be perfect because I am perfect. He's talking about being perfect in love. You see, we have to be mature in love. We have to be mature in love. 1 John 4 and 20 said, If a man say I love God and hate his brother, he is a liar. You think we have some liars in the body of Christ today? You think we have some liars in the body of Christ today? He that hates his brother is a liar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he had seen, how can he love God, whom he had not seen? The way you treat people determine how you love God. The way you treat people determine how you love God. How many of you know that? You don't talk down to people and make them feel like they're nobody. God don't like that. Amen. You don't do that. Hallelujah. You are somebody. Yeah. If someone doing wrong, correct them. Don't talk down to them. Right. You see? Don't talk down to them. Because you are somebody. God love you. I can look at a person and tell they don't love God by the way they treat people. You see, love shows. Love is visible. People can tell if you have love inside of you. 
Because love shows. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love shows. Your love always supposed to be on display. My God. Always supposed to be on display. Yes, sir. If people can only see love in you, they will see God in you. Yeah. If they can see love in you, they can see God in you. Amen. Love is like a place we dwell in, like the secret place. Oh, yes. That is why we must keep ourselves in the love of God. Yes, sir. First John 4 and 12 says, No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us, and his love is perfect in us. How do you know that God lives in you? By loving one another. Yes. If you say you are a Christian, and you're not loving one another, there's something wrong with that. Yeah. If you say, I'm saved, and you're not loving your brothers and sisters, something is wrong with that. Yes. You need to check yourself. check yourself. And guess what? If you be that way, you are in the flesh. Yes. You are carnal. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. You are not, you're saved, but your mind needs to be renewed. Yeah. Your mind needs to be changed. Hallelujah. When you do something wrong to someone, you, you apologize. Yes. How many of you know that? Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Apologize. Wrong is wrong. wrong, is wrong. Thank you. Hallelujah. If you do something wrong and you don't apologize, that means you're in pride. Yes, yes. Woo! When someone do you something wrong and you don't apologize, you're in pride. You are walking in pride. You are not walking in love. Pride will bring you down. Yes, 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 yes. When you walk in pride, pride will bring you down. How many of you know that? Yes, yes. 1 John 4 and 8 says, He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Yes, yes. 1 John 3 and 18 says, My little children, let us not love in words, neither in tongue, but in deeds and in truth. Hallelujah. Some people only love in words. Not in deeds, not in truth. Anybody can say, I love you. Thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. But people, people can tell you don't love them Thank you. by the way you treat them. Thank you. How could you say you love me and you're not treating me right? Thank you. Huh? Thank you. People can tell. That's true. Hallelujah. That's the truth. Love don't hold on and be stingy. No. No. Love's supposed to give. Right. Hallelujah. 1 John 3 and 17 says, but also... Had this world goods, and see his brother of deed, and shed up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwelleth the love of God in him? You see your brother have a need, and you know you can help him, and you don't help him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to check yourself. We have to help our brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. You don't shed up your bowels of compassion from him. How dwelleth the love of God in you? See, if you have the love of God in you, and you know you can help somebody, and you don't help them, you're not going to feel good. The Spirit of the Lord is going to convict you. He's going to convict you. Because the brother have a need, and you can't help him. I mean, you can help him, but then you don't want, you, you don't want to help him. You know you can help him. You see? Even your own. That is true. God don't want us to be like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's look at it from the CEV Bible. If we have all we need and see one of our own people in need, we must have pity on that person or else we cannot say we love God. Hallelujah. Let me go, let me go again. If we have all we need, and see one of our own people in need. We must have pity on that person, or else we cannot say we love God. Hallelujah. Love is a command. John 15 and 17 said, These things I command you, that you love one another. See the word command? These things I command you, that you love one another. Hallelujah. Command. Love is a command. Your inward mind is made up of love. Yeah. Your inward mind is made up of love. If you are walking in love with people, then you are walking on the same road with God. Yes, sir. Yes, 
If you are walking in love with people, you are walking on the same road with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You could be so busy waiting for God, but if you don't have love, hallelujah. If you don't have love, it profit you nothing. You go minister the word of God. You could do all kinds of things for God. But if you don't have love on you, it's a waste of time. You may as well sit down until you get love on you. Sit down until you get love on you because you're wasting your time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you could be so busy waiting for God and still don't walk in love, it's a waste of time. Love is treating people like the way you would like to be treated. Love is being treated like the way you want to be treated. That's God kind of love. You don't want no one to treat you bad. Why treat somebody else bad? Huh? You don't want that. Treat people how you want to be treated. I want to be treated good, so I have to treat you good. Right, 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 right. Uh. Hallelujah. If someone hate me, I will not let their hate bring me down to their level. If someone hate me, I won't let that hate bring me down to their level. My job is to love you, no matter what, and spite off. Love you and spite off. Hallelujah. Love you and spite off. The Bible said, hate stir up strife. But love covered all sin. You all hear that? Hate stir up strife, but love covered all sin. Hallelujah. It's the Bible. Hallelujah. A friend loved at all times. Proverbs 17 and 17. A friend loved at all times. Some people only call you when they need something. They're not the true friends. If you have a friend, call them at all times. Not when you're doing bad, you call them. When you're doing good, you don't call them. That's not a friend. And when you call them, you want money. You want help. Huh? That's the only time you hear from them. That's not a friend. If you're going to walk in love, you have to deal also with people close to you. If you're going to walk in love, you have to deal also with people close to you. How many of you believe that? If you cannot love your family at home, then you are a hypocrite to God, people. If you cannot love your family at home, you are a hypocrite to God's people. Hallelujah. If you want to walk in love, if you want to see your prayer answered, walk in love. It will cause your prayer to be answered. You want to have a good relationship in your home? Walk in love. It will cause your marriage to last long. Right, honey? All right. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Amen. It costs your marriage to last long. You see? And you know, when you're in a relationship, the woman is right most of the time. She's right. Most of the time. I talk about in your home now, in your home. Not all the time. Don't tell them, don't tell them. Not all the time, but most of the time, they're right. That's true, but don't tell them. All right, okay, all right. All right, Bridget. You, you can lay hands on the sick. You can prophesy. You can give to the poor. But if you don't have love, it profit you nothing. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Romans 12 and 9 said, Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Dissimulation means pretend. Yeah, pretend Some people pretend that they love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah, yeah. And you know they don't love you. Yeah. Huh? They pretending. Uh, yeah. You have some good pretender. Movie star. They only want something from you. That's why they're saying that. I love you. I love you. Hallelujah. 
You can tell they don't love you the way they treat you. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loved not his brother abided in death. Hallelujah. You don't want to love under the power of death. Hallelujah. So you must love the brethren. You must love the brethren. Whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. How many murderers we have here now? I mean, in this world today. Do you know that if you don't love your brother, the Bible see you as a murderer? Yeah. That's a serious thing. Yeah. Whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. Yeah. And you know that no murderer had eternal life abiding in him. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't want to be a murderer. So love your brother. The Bible says, when you hate your brother, you are a murderer. 1 John 4 and 20 says, if a man say, I love God and hate his brother, he's a liar. Okay? Now, you don't want to be a liar, so don't hate your brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Acts 2, 42, 47. Let's talk about the apostle. And they continue steadfastly in the apostle doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostle. And all that believe were together and had all things common and sold their possession and goods and parted them to all men as they uh, ever, every man had need. So these people, everything was common. Nobody was lacking. Nobody was hungry. Hallelujah. Because they helped one another. They were in unity. Unity is strength. Love is unity also. Love is strength. Love is powerful. Hallelujah. God is so powerful. You know, um, my wife asked me this morning. Ask me if I love her. I don't hear love out of your mouth too much. I had to remind her. I said, honey, when I come home from work, I ask you if you had anything to eat. And if she, she didn't have anything to eat, I go fix her something to eat. In the morning before I go to work, I ask her, honey, you want a cup of tea? She said, yeah. So I tell her, action speak louder than words. Action speak louder than words. Hallelujah. See, words can say anything. You can say, I love you. I love you, honey. I love you. But if you're not taking care of your wife, huh? you don't love her. You see? And when I, when I said that, she was convinced. She was convinced. Yeah. You see, I can't be selfish. I'm a married man. I have to think about my wife. And my wife hungry. I don't want my wife to go to bed. Hungry. The other day I came. Look here. The other day I came home, and I didn't shut the gate and everything. I go on the house. He said, "Honey, you didn't get the halls for me." I say, "Oh, gee, I forget." And guess what? I go on back, open up that gate. That was around like uh, what, nine or ten o'clock in the night. I open up that gate, and I go on by the prescription parlor. I go on there, the pharmacy. And I got the halls for her. Yes. You understand? Yes. I want to make sure my wife is comfortable. Yes. Then I can sleep good. Yes. Huh? Yes. See, I'm not one person. I am two person. Yes. It's not me and myself and I. It's me and my wife. Yes. Hallelujah. It's me and her. You see? That's why our marriage is so long. That's why we have good relationship. You see? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peace is in our home. Peace is in our home. You know, sometimes my wife says something to me, and I don't like it. I could row, but I, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to suffer that. Yes, I'm going to suffer that. You see? I'm not going to do that. God wants us to be wise. Yes. God wants us to use wisdom. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And God wants us to mean what we say. 
Some people say it is, and they don't mean it. You see? But we have to mean what we say. You see? You see, I read the one to tell me that they love me by action than by words. You see what I mean? Because anybody can say, I love you. Even the movie stars. You see what I mean? Actors. Movie star. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the other day, the other day, I went, the other day, I ordered a fish dinner from Bahamian Kitchen. And Krupa. And guess what? I say, I say, man, I'm going to treat myself today. So I asked them for the group of dinner. They tell me $28. So I ordered a group of dinner. When I go on to pick up the dinner, I rest the dinner on the, on the table. When I go on to open it up, it slide down and drop on the floor. Wow. Everything going down on the floor. Mm. Nope, I didn't pick it up. My $28 go on just like that. And guess what? That's why you got to be careful how you conduct yourself. Right. A Christian brother is right there. And I didn't carry on bad or nothing like that. You see what I mean? People watching you, you know. Yeah. I didn't carry on bad or nothing. I just, I just let it go just like that. And then I went to another restaurant and got a chicken dinner. You see what I mean? But, you know, I was bulk. My money going on just like that. You know what I mean? God is good. And all the time... Hallelujah. Are you being blessed? Yes. Right, okay. We're so glad that you've joined us today for this time in God's Word. And we trust that this Word has been a blessing to you. If you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, dear friend, God loves you. And He wants a relationship with you. He wants you, when you pass from this life, to be able to go to heaven. So if you're not born again, would you repeat this prayer and mean it from your heart? And Jesus Christ will come into your life and will change you and make you a brand new creation. Just say, oh God in heaven, I come to you in the name of your son, the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that Jesus died for my sins, that he was buried and that he rose again. Right now, I receive Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in his precious blood. I thank you for hearing my prayer, for I pray in Jesus' name. And listen, if you prayed that prayer, please write us or email us. The email address is on the screen and let us know. We'd like to know because we'd like to be praying for you as well as communicate with you. Also, if you enjoyed this broadcast, please subscribe to this channel and please hit that like button and hit also the notification button so that whenever we are on again, you'd be notified. God bless you and have a great day.